Hi, Scottish Bud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we've come along to Teapot Tip, but we're not looking for teapots and we're not even looking for bottles. Today we're looking for little pictorial ceramic pieces. And the reason that we're looking for these is that thanks to you and all the coffee support that we've got, we now have a glass grinder and Nicole can get to work making some beautiful jewellery using these lovely little pictorial pieces that we often find here. Nicole's especially looking for anything that is related to childhood and nursery rhymes. You can probably see there's quite a few bits and bobs of figurines around and some of these we've definitely seen before. <laughs> yeah. um, you may remember this uh, from episode 7. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not quite sure uh, when that was. But yeah, we've, we've seen this one before. Yeah. Um, and we do find quite a few figurines down here. Mm -hmm. And you know, had it been that the first time that we came here, we'd seen more figurines than we'd seen teapots, we might have called this... Well, not figurine tip because it doesn't <laughs> rhyme. Uh, but we might have tried to, we would have had to have found a word that rhymed with figurines, right? Yeah. But, having said all that, what we've never found before is a figurine that still has its head on um, and is in such good shape. Hang on, Do you know what? That's on. wearing a dress or that's two figurines. That's really cool. Okay, so <laughs> bottle diggers, I take my hat off to you. Yeah. Um, that is genius. Whoever did that has got an amazing sense of humour. Yeah. And a really cool eye for sort of like kind of bricolage or collage. <laughs> That's actually two figurines. You can see if you look at these yeah. dainty yeah, wee yeah. feet. You see the dainty wee feet? <laughs> and look at these muckle hands. <laughs> oh, that That's awesome. Really cool. yeah. That's very cool. Okay, let's, okay. let's pick the top one out. We'll have a wee look at that. So it's not a whole figurine at all, it's, it's two figurines. <laughs> yeah. But that one's really cool. Yeah, that is really nice. It looks like it's got a wee sort of almost um, a kind of Swiss hat on, like a hat from the Alps. Uh, and it's got a handkerchief there. That's yeah. really cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that because it's actually like the head of a figurine rather than just the, the skirt and the feet. <laughs> yeah, but the real question is, are we going to put them back together? <laughs> Or are you going to separate them forever? Oh. Like some cruel Dr. Frankenstein <laughs> taking the monster apart. Oh, I think I'm just going to take this top. <laughs> oh, controversial, controversial. We'll hear about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right just alongside that figurine, you can see the half that Nicole found less attractive um, is still going to be there. Maybe we'll find another head to put on top of it. Who knows? Mm. In fact, speaking about heads, the camera's mm -hmm. pointing at a bit of a head right now. Do you yeah. want to maybe turn that around so we can see? Yeah. There's a bit of a doll's head there. I don't think there's any oh. creepy teeth. There's a creepy chin. Yeah. But there's no teeth. No, there's a chin and the lower lip. Well, there it is. Nicole's just uh, popped it down the right way up. <laughs> uh, so we've got a wee chin there. Yeah. But sadly, no creepy teeth in no. this one. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to leave that, right? I mean, that's not much of a much of a doll's head no, there, no, is it? No, I take I take all doll parts. <laughs> okay, well, let's be having that one and get on our way. Yeah. Now this is quite cool. Uh, I know folks have said before I say cool a lot, and that's because uh, you know it's quite cool. <laughs> anyway. This is very interesting, this piece. Uh, I think this kind of might conform to the kind of thing that uh, Nicole just said we were looking for. Is oh. there a wee face in there? Is there a wee face? Oh, is that a face? Oh, I think so. Oh, oh it yeah. is. <laughs> is that a Santa Claus or is that a, a really creepy clown? <laughs> I think it's a creepy clown. <laughs> it looks very Christmassy though with the red and the green. It looks like Christmas from say, I don't know, a 70s horror film or something. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I've said it again. It's cool. <laughs> it is just cool. Get over it. Okay, it's cool. It's, it's a Christmas creepy clown. <laughs> Can you see it? Again, you know, it's not what we're actually looking for here. But I know Nicole loves these things, so I'll see if I can get in there and grab that. We can see it just behind all the firewood there. Um, and those nettles. Uh, yeah, and thistle as well. Uh, there's a little uh, milk glass jar. And it looks to me like it's a porn's cream jar. So I'll use my big boot, flatten that stuff down. And we'll see if we can grab that out without getting a jag. Not bad going so far. 
just a wee drag. <laughs> That looks like another piece of sponge wear. Ah, a bit of a heartbreaker, or is it? It seems to actually be quite big. Oh, that's a really gorgeous rose pattern. Ah, I'm kind of preferably looking for animals and uh, sort of children's mugs. This is quite nice, but. Uh, the roses are all cut out. I, I suppose it could just be the rose in the middle here. Uh, I think I might leave this here. Yeah, another piece of transfer wear. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I'll leave that one here. Last look before we leave. Okay, the hunt continues. Every piece gets turned over because, you know, what's this? Oh, that's funny. I don't think that's how it went. There's probably a cruet set. Hmm. Almost looks like it's uh, like it's in one piece. Actually, it looks a little bit. Does it look like a face to you? Look, two eyes, big mouth. Woohoo! And then it's it's got that. So I think that's a, a vase. Cool. Okay, distraction. Let's go and have a look at the pottery. Now, I've ventured out and although we can see there's been a new uh, a new path cut through here, I hope you can see that. I think the suggestion was, or the idea was, that maybe that would mean that there'd be some new holes through here or some new digging activity. But not yet. Maybe up ahead there. Gonna have a very quick look here and then we'll go back along and see if Nicole's had any more luck than me uh, finding some nice ceramic pieces. There's lots of ceramic around here just uh, all very plain. Now I can see in there there's a piece with a rose motif it might be a rose might be a carnation Carnation, kind of likely, isn't it? But it's quite pretty. So we'll see if we can get down there. I'm going to pop this uh, wee bit of milk glass down there. Try not to forget that when we come back. What's this? Now that is transfer wear. And if you're not sure what transferware is, then please do check out uh, the video special that we did on transferware. Uh, and that'll tell you all about how it's applied and how that kind of style's made. There's another example of some uh, transferware up there. The much bigger piece, much chunkier, not the kind of thing that we could easily use. Uh, but this, this wee rose, really lovely. I think it's a rose. No, it's... Well, actually, no. I don't think it's a rose. Let's be honest. It's not... It looks nothing like a rose at all. So, we'll grab that. And we'll grab our wee, uh... Milk glass, uh... Cream jar there. And we'll get back along. See how Nicole's been doing. Okay, Craig just spotted a piece of sponge wear over there. I think I'll probably get into the hole here. Oops. And, uh, oh, see if I can get out of here again. Uh, see what is there. Piece of sponge wear just over there, or some sort of pottery. A couple of other pieces of pottery here. Let's see, that's a white one on one side. Ah, it's a maker's mark on this side. Interesting, what does it say? Alfred Merkin! Oh, and it's got a unicorn on it. I think I might take that. Okay, what else? Plain bowl. Okay, let's see. Whoops! Right, there's something else. Here's a wee... Nah. Wee cup. Oh! But look! That is very nice. There are a couple of pieces here, actually. 
it's always worth exploring. Let's see what is this. Oh, stuck me in highness this one, yeah. Okay, I've not even got my gloves on. We've just arrived. Ouch. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. But this, this is what caught my eye. Ah. Uh, oh, that's very chipped on this side. I don't think we'll be able to rescue that. That'll probably just break. Okay. Well, that's it. We've got one piece uh, with a maker's mark and a unicorn on it. That's a good start. Right, this is ceramic. Um, it's not what we're looking for. I'm not quite sure what it is or uh, if we could use it at all. I don't think we could. Very odd piece. Must have been so from something uh, figurative or... Yeah, I don't mean human figure. I mean, you know... Who knows what that was for? It's an interesting shape, but we're not going to be able to use it. More interesting though is this piece over here. Doesn't look very interesting at first glance, but once we get in a little bit closer to it, we can see nice modelled flowers up here. Little modelled and applied leaves, but the little flower's gorgeous. I don't think we're going to be able to get that off there. And even if we could, I'm not quite sure what we could use it for. It's very sharp, very pointy. Certainly wouldn't want to uh, make anything that people would want to wear from that. It's a bit, bit much. Okay, so just to give you an idea of how, uh, how random some finds can be. I recently walked by here, I mean minutes ago, and I did not see this. And had I seen it, I would have yelped. A wee, <laughs> a wee yelp of excitement. Because we've only ever found, I think, two of these. And we may have found one of them here. Now I wonder, is it too much to hope for? Oh! Yeah, no writing on this one, nothing that says pool. Now, that would have been either a, you know, a, a toilet handle. I don't think so though, I think this would have been a pool handle. Could have been in the bathroom, could have been on a light. Most likely, it was a pool uh, for, a, for a toilet. These are very cool things. As I say, we found very few of these. I think two. One we found with the word pool on it. Uh, another one we found similar shape to this. Uh, but nothing on it. So that's definitely coming back with us. Let's go catch up with Nicole. <laughs> now I've just been for a wee wander. Ah. There's evidence that people have been doing a bit of work in there. But there's not an awful lot of interest. Okay. Now, Having said that, found you that nice wee milk glass uh, jar there. Yeah. I don't think it's a Ponge jar, it's another manufacturer. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, I found that piece of ceramic with what looks like a, is that a carnation or something like that? I don't mm, know. Yeah. It's a lovely flower, but it if you is. turn that around, you'll see why we can't use it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. That's a shame. That is a Just real shame. Just turn that up like that so that folks can see it at home. See that that's a really, really thick. A uh, piece of ceramic. This would have been the base then or the edge of a very very large elaborate platter of some description. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that sadly we won't be able to use it. We can however Shame. show this lovely pattern on camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that folks. Probably uh -huh. the last you'll see of it. It's gorgeous but I'm afraid <laughs> we're gonna have to let it go. Yeah, and you found a, a light pool. You or call a it a light pool. pool, I'm going to say it's a lavy pool. <laughs> I reckon it's a lavy pool because the likelihood yeah. of a, a flush mm -hmm. uh, rather than a light pool in the 1930s um, is, is probably, yeah. yeah. I think is, it's more, yeah. more, more likely a lavatory pool or a flush uh, than it is um, a light pool. But it's very cool. We've only found a couple of those. I'm yeah. just gutted that that one doesn't have pool <laughs> on the side of it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a really cool find. But this is really cool as well. You could use that. Yeah. Wee bit clean up. You could totally use that. It's in perfect condition. Yeah. I found something really cool as well and I can't wait to show you. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, I'm going to have a look around here. Quite a few bits of pottery. And we are looking for pottery with patterns on it. Now that's plain. Let's see this. Fingers crossed we'll find something with a lovely pattern on it. Not plain. Plain. So 
much plain. What's this? A stick. More plain pottery. Okay. I'm not giving up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! That's what I'm looking for. Look! It's a little sort of... Uh, looks like a red fox actually. Uh, and it's got... Um, Oh, the, yeah, a, a horse on a stick. I know it's, it's got a particular name. It escapes me at the moment. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I've got a show Craig. He's going to love this one. That is really lovely. I think this is the best find of the day. It's my absolute favourite, so I've got to show you now. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that might be the cutest uh, we ceramic print that we've ever found. It's so <laughs> sweet. Isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know, is it, is it a red fox and a hobby horse or what do you think? I'm saying it's a cat. <laughs> Look at that wee tongue. You got a wee tongue lolling out there. <laughs> it's just desperate for a wee bowl of milk. Oh. Actually, don't give milk to cats, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does do the very good. Special cat milk. <laughs> that is so yeah, sweet. Isn't it? Yeah, and it's exactly what we were looking for. I'm really happy with this piece. Perfect piece. Yeah. Quite a lot's changed in this area since we first came here and uh, the eagle-eyed among you might recognise this area. Uh, it has changed, as I say though, quite dramatically since we first came here. There used to be huge piles of bottles here, um, but we spoke to a chap who lives around here and he's told us that um, a lot of them have been reburied for a good reason, to try and protect them for the future. So the kinds of things that bottle diggers are not interested in uh, today might be the kinds of things that bottle diggers are really interested in in say a hundred years time. Yeah. So, <laughs> rather than just smash these bottles, so I'm taking a, <laughs> an interest in this wasp here, yeah. um, who seems to be quite interested in this jar. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, you know, if you find something mm -hmm. and it doesn't interest you, just bury it. <laughs> yeah. You know, just bury it. And then somebody else will come along, like in a hundred years time, and they'll be like, this is the coolest stuff we've found. And it will have been you who've gifted it to them. Yeah. Anyway, this is a much more curtailed little pile of stuff mm -hmm. just now. And of course, there has to be a little teapot in this as well. And I think that's a beautiful little teapot as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's got a really nice wee design. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got given one of the bottle diggers uh, here before. And I think it's got the same pattern. So I'm definitely going to take that. And then we've got a wee set. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that I've seen here as well. You might remember this from uh, our brief discussion of the, the Great Binge. Uh, that period in history, this is Hall's wine tonic. So this, this would have been packed full of cocaine. Um, yeah, so there was a period in British history where the kinds of things that we really frown upon now were uh, over the counter, um, you know, something to, something to enjoy over the weekend type things. Uh, anyway, yeah. moving along. What do we have here? That's quite interesting. It's a nice motif on that one. Oh yeah, does it see? Pear tree or something? It can't be. It'd be pear tree, I guess. If yeah. it's a it's firm, it's done firm the bottle. Jilbert. Oh, Jilbert Ray. Okay, right. we found the uh, volcanite stoppers from uh, Jilbert Ray before. Very cool. We've got a few little ink wells here. Uh, I don't know if you want to take them. You'll remember in Nicole's introduction, we're looking for pottery, pictorial pottery people. <laughs> so, <laughs> quite why we're here looking at all this glassware. Ah. Um, <laughs> well, it's here. And uh, there's some nice pieces in here as well. So we'll, we'll just have a brief look at it, I guess. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I think is really cool here is, is this. And again, it's brown glass. And I know we've been through it before. Brown glass isn't everybody's cup of tea. But this 
is I think it's a cracking wee piece. It's a Lysol bottle again. Yeah. This one's a lot smaller than the ones that we found before. Um, but one of the nice things about it is you can see it does say not to be taken along the top. I hope you can see that. I'll try and yeah. put that somewhere. Yeah, that's a really nice bottle. I think that'll make a really lovely set with the bigger one. Yeah, so have we only found one one other size than this? Um, yeah, one other size, but uh, in two different designs. Okay, very cool. <laughs> well, we'll be having that. Yeah. But there's a couple of other things that are really interesting here. Yeah, don't forget the teapot. <laughs> okay, now what's that? I can see some writing on this. I'm not sure what it is. It looks a little bit like there's a wee boat on it. Okay, it's uh, brown green. So what does it say? As ye brew, say ye man drink. Okay, excuse the pronunciation. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's pronounced. Um, okay, but what I think, I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and smooth off the top uh, with said new glass grinder um, and see if this can be like a little vase. So that's really cool. I'm going to take that. So I can see there's a bit of pottery in this uh, hole. Let's see what it is on it okay there's definitely something on it it's blue and white <laughs> okay i'm not sure this is going to be particularly suitable for oh hang on is that a bird hmm okay, it's a little difficult to see it looks like it might be a bird right here um, I think I'm going to leave this. Now that's transferware and you can tell it's transferware because the all the lines are really, really exact. And uh, if you don't know how transferware was made, Craig did a really, really cool history section on this. And we put a link to that video in the description along with a link to what is spongeware. So I'll leave that here. Now what's that? It's ceramic, <laughs> uh, but it's broken. It looks like it might have been a, a fancy wee teacup or something. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a few other things around here. There is uh, a shipper's jar in there that's quite cool. It has a kind of herringbone pattern. I uh, hope you can see that. I can make that out. We've, we've found one of these here before and we have one of those in our collection. So unless we start uh, getting requests for these um, we won't be collecting any more of them as Nicole has pointed out before when we've received frustrated messages uh, why we didn't pick up this or that object we have quite a small house <laughs> uh, so we don't have a huge amount of storage space for things like this but here we go now this is this is very much the kind of thing uh, that we're looking for today that is so beautiful, that piece of spongeware. Yeah, that's a really nice bit. It's a shame, you know, there's not more of the bowl. Oh. Um, but what we can see here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, a wee bit manky on this side. <laughs> so maybe six flowers there. Mm -hmm. um, that, I don't know. That could be one, two, three pairs of earrings. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see how good you get with that glass grinder. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we're going to take that. Mm -hmm. Now... As Nicole was saying earlier, anyone who's watched our videos, particularly the Cody videos, uh, will know that there's several different kinds of uh, design application uh, that we're, we're interested in. And that's one, that's spongeware. So what we're looking for now would be uh, some of the others. Um, transferware, hand applied or painted. So we'll see if we can find uh, anything like that. But in the meantime, whilst I'm in this hole, <laughs> I'm going to swing the camera past these uh, these wee bottles. Another one of these interesting green ones. Now, this one's broken. Uh, so it's quite nice then that we found 
uh, one of these that was in perfect condition. So we're taking the one that's in perfect condition and we'll leave this broken one here. Now, back to the task of pottery hunting. It's not pottery, <laughs> uh, but I see right beside where uh, we've left our bags that there's this little elephant. <laughs> and I wonder, has Nicole grabbed this little elephant piece and just popped it down there? Did you find it earlier? Yeah, I, I did. I, I meant to film it, I hadn't, but uh, I think that is just really lovely. It could be uh, from the Methan pottery. There was a range that uh, was for export and it had a little elephant. Uh, a mark on it, although that one says SBL, so that might uh, be the actual pottery you made. That. Strength and reliability, yeah, says uh, under there. So, uh -huh. this this looks like a pudding dish to me, Ooh. Uh, maybe. And then you found this wee piece as well, yeah, it's rather lovely. Yeah, I'll need to turn that around and then you can see it. See, there's a oops, there's a little bird here, yeah, just yeah, just there. So, well, with this being a pudding dish, that's probably going to be really, really tough to cut. Yeah, strength, <laughs> strength. <laughs> we'll see if we can get through that. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can find more really cool pictorial pieces like this then. Yeah. So, we were both just having a close look at that lovely wee, uh, it looks like it was a piece of a child's mug uh, that Nicole just found there. Um, I'm talking about that. Well, you've just seen it, so I don't need to describe it any further. And we both looked down and we said, did you see that? Almost at the same time. And it's, that's pretty amazing. What do you reckon it is? Uh, it has a look of chihuahua about it, doesn't yeah, it? It's more <laughs> it's like, like a, ears. Yeah, like a punk. Yeah. Like a, yeah, French punk maybe. <laughs> At first, you know, when I saw it with that glaze on it, uh -huh. I thought it's got to be some kind of Chinese dragon or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe one of these kind of oriental yeah, sort yeah. of like pieces that you see uh, in restaurants or uh, Chinese supermarkets and stuff. I don't know yeah. if anybody has them in their homes. I guess they must do, eh? Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why else would they, they would sell them, right? Pretty amazing in a frame, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's quite deep. Let's yeah. just have a wee look All at right. it. So oh, it's, it's totally whole, around. but yeah. it's quite deep. There's there's a profile shot, so <laughs> if you imagine we just have the wee criminal number under here. The wee profile <laughs> shot there, and there's the, there's the face on. All oh, right, yeah. the wee More tongue hanging out. Oh, I'll tell you what, with that, with the dirt in the eye there, that looks really yeah. creepy. Yeah, it uh, does, not it? It's the, the noise that this exudes for me, just the image, um, <laughs> seems to be making a noise that, well, to me, you think it's a growl. I think it's more of a uh, <laughs> zombie noise. That's so cute. Yeah. Gotta have that. You want to take that? Oh, well, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, why not? Now, that's quite bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, it actually is... <laughs> I see what it is now, actually. It's an egg cup. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the chicken's quite... coming out of it. Yeah. It's Do you know what creepy. that kind of reminds me of? Does anybody remember those butcher signs where they have a wee pig outside the butchers dressed up as a butcher <laughs> advertising pork sausages? <laughs> That's kind of what that is as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you've got, you know, your egg's going to be sitting in there and as you chomp away at your egg, you're going to be looking at that wee beak <laughs> yeah. and that wee face and that wee beady eye giving you the eyes, you know. <laughs> You're munching away at my egg. Yeah, it's really quite creepy, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it's cute just, and creepy. It's a bizarre kind of juxtaposition, mm -hmm. but it's a really cool find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to take that. I know. I'll, I'll turn it around. It is. It is broken, but uh, very partial, but yeah, nonetheless yeah, very yeah. cute. But look, the the main part is there. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a wee look down there, down yeah. that beak there. Uh huh. Well. The light's set. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> what Nicole's trying to say is it's nearly dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it quite is, it's getting it dark. <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. We're both getting hungry. So let's have a look and take a look at our favourite fights. 
Now, I know anyone looking at our best finds today will be asking the same question that I'm asking. Where's all, where's all the glass? <laughs> Where are all the bottles? We saw you finding lots of bottles. Well, because today was a ceramic special and we're looking for pictorial pieces, we thought we'd try and focus on them at least for this part of the video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's some really cool bits and bobs in there and yeah. some really cute wee... Uh, we graphics. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm so happy with the finds from today and uh, just want to say this piece, I only found this because I looked at about 30 or 40 white pieces, plain pieces of pottery, turned everyone around and that one was one of them and that's my favourite find of the day. So that's number one. Number one favourite find. <laughs> what then might be number two? Oh, I think it's going to be this one here that oh, you found. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pinched one of my favourite finds. <laughs> that's all right. Ah, it's okay. that that creepy weirdo Santa type uh, elfy thingy, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's kind of freaking me out. Uh, it's got such a grumpy face, have you seen the grumpy face? Yeah. Oh, that. no, yeah, yeah, it's creepy, it's looking sideways, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll tell you, the Grinch has got competition this Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> right. it certainly does. Okay, my third favourite find. I think, oh, oh, that's a difficult one. I think it's going to be this one, and right. I'll just rub it a little bit. And then you can see it. See, it's uh, Alfred, uh, Alfred Mierkin. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, and uh, they made lots of plates, like the uh, old the plate that we have from the seventies. So that could be Mierkin. Yeah, it could be Mierkin. Mierkin, yes. I think. Yeah, and more likely. Is, yeah, that is the maker's mark, and it has a unicorn on it. So that is definitely my favourite find. One of the unusual things <laughs> about that. Uh, it's not that you know you can't use a unicorn if you live in England. It's the heraldic <laughs> symbol for Scotland. Yeah. Now it's clearly not being used in the heraldic sense there. <laughs> um, it's a unicorn, and well, let's just say you know unicorns there. They're cool. Yeah, yeah. I love a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your favourite finds? What are my favourite finds? Okay, um, you know. I think a lavy pool. <laughs> you, you can't beat a lavy pool. It's a very rare find for us as well. We don't find so many of them. And this is a really good one as well. It's like you say, you know, you could you could tie that on uh, <laughs> to a rope and use it today. Uh, maybe not for a lavy. Uh, they tend not to be pool flushes uh, these days unless you have a really retro one. Uh, but certainly for a light switch in the bathroom or something like that. Yeah. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the other things that I quite like is... Um, it's this actually, it's this wee thing here. It's uh, got that wee kind of Christmas tree look about it. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I hate I hate to say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize. I've said Christmas about three or four times in this video <laughs> and uh, it is only November. So, you know, it's still a wee bit off, but that's one of my favorite finds. <laughs> um, number three, number three, what could it be? Probably this actually. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see there on the side. Um, now, Nicole read this out before, it says, As ye brew, say, ye mon drink. <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. So some cool finds there, and we haven't even looked at the bottle finds. No. <laughs> let's get this packed up and get back off to the car. Yeah, let's do that. What a day it's been. We came for ceramics. We found a lot of bottles. To be fair though, we did find quite a few beautiful pieces of ceramic and that's certainly going to keep Nicole busy in our next crafting video. We're going to dig out that glass grinder and see if we can make some pendants. Well, I say we, I mean Nicole. So thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. Also a massive, massive thanks to everybody who's helped support this channel through Etsy and through Kofi. That's what keeps the lights on. Thank you so much for that. We'll see you next time. <laughs>